Uh, Agua Tov, blessing of long life. A Kabbal welcome. Adapoi Ori Ego, we thank the ancestors for the wisdom. Today we're going to talk about the derivations of the word Ray um, as part of the um, series and studying uh, some of the um, components of creating an illusion for um, liturgical Yorba. So Ray uh, means good. So E Ray is the good. Ray Ray is the source of goodness. Irite is the uh, literally the holding on of goodness or the, um, you can almost say attachment to goodness or the uh, discipline. It's really the word for spiritual discipline. So it's the discipline that allows for the um, uh, maintaining the good character, really, irite. So with ire, we have uh, good fortune takes uh, several forms in traditional Yoruba culture. There's the ire of family or children. There's the ire of uh, financial abundance. And then there's the ire that comes from the inner peace as a result of de uh, developing good character. So, uh, you know, there has been some controversy since I uh, first wrote about the idea of Iwa Poile and defined it as good character. Some people disagreed with that. I stand on my definition. Iwa means I come. Uh, pai o pai means to greet. And then Ile, I come to greet the earth. So Iwa Poile is a description of the spiritual discipline that defines our purpose as human beings. So we're spiritual beings having a, a human ex, uh, experience. And that human experience involves learning how to live in harmony with the earth. It's a lesson that we're uh, really obligated to deal with. And I think it's a lesson that we've dealt with very poorly. A lot of people have argued that the word for good character in Yoruba is Iwa Re Re. Um, that's not my understanding. Iwa Re Re from the Legion Re Re, uh, meaning the source of Re is Iwa, I come to earth with Ray Ray, or the primal source of uh, good character, meaning uh, I'm a good and blessed person. It's the Yorba word for innocence. So um, Ray or E-Ray, then I'm going to take a little, uh, in, in the past lectures, I've talked about words uh, associated with uh, the elements of uh, the language we're talking about, and then I've gone to showing how Elysians work in general without necessarily limiting myself to the word we're, uh, the word elements we're talking about. But today, we're going to address the uh, issues of um, using the word E-Ray. Oh, here it is. Okay, so... Odu Ifa essentially has three forms of Ire or good fortune. Ire Omo, Ire Owo, Ire Agbo Oto. But we can see, begin to see how we can create language uh, of the elisions that are common to the language by dropping the uh, vowel in the front of Omo. So when we say Ire Omo, at the end of uh, divination, it's common for the diviner to. Uh, Freestyle, I would say, invoking the forms of Ire that came. So Ire Omo in spoken Ire would be Ire Mo, and then uh, Owo, meaning money. This is child, sorry, Omo, child, money, long life. So instead of saying Ire Omo, Ire Owo, Ire Agbo, Ato, it would be more common linguistically to say Ire Mo, Ire Wo, Ire Bo, Ato. And so then you can start to internalize that and use it as a common um, conclusion to your divination process. You, know, you can bless the client and move um, forward with your day, I suppose. So uh, that's um, the lesson for today. Ire, Ashe, Toph.